Okay, guys, welcome back to Rex to Ride, where we are still turning your hard earned cash into unfinished projects and broken dreams. Today, we are doing the Isuzu. It's been a while since we've been on this. It, I lost a bit of heart because I was mixing oil and water. I thought the motor was running nicely, but it wasn't. And uh, so, anyway, I whipped it out and uh, had a look, head gasket gone, but decided to go for a full overhaul. It's been done. Um, gearbox engine out, everything out that can all be done properly. You know, why put all this effort in when you're not going to go all the way? So we can get this thing me mechanically running correctly. Anyway, it's easier to spray the engine bay when there's no engine in the engine bay. So here we are. Uh, welcome to Backyard Spring 101. Um, as you can see, there's very little in the way of a spray booth and there's a compressor and there's a generator because we live in South Africa and we cannot have um, any power outages which we will so we prepared so that's the first rule of backyard spraying or any spraying um, is preparation you know we've made sure we've got the power on the tank is full compressors ready we've got our water trap uh, the gun what I've done is I've run through normal thinners and everything's clean and then what I like to do is just add in a little touch of 2K thinners in to fill this bottom chamber here uh, before I put the mix in. So you can just a bit and that will just um, make sure you don't get luck. If your mix is too thick or something, it's just a good buffer zone there. Um, so preparation, I've made sure the hardener, everything actually opens and is mixed properly. I've got a nice mixing stick over here and i've got everything dug everything on standby and some hoses like extra hoses lying in the sun so they're nice and soft should we be ready so or should we need them so that's our, our preparation everything's been done with 400 paper um and then next thing you're going to need is a plan uh what i would like to do is get this load bin on sometime soon um, as you can see there's a lot of work need doing on it and i really want the space here cleared up so my plan for today is to get the engine sprayed the engine or bay and then obviously the top here and then i'm going to move to the back of that so i can get this sprayed over here um and then the back of the cab and then what i'm going to move on to is the big flat surfaces like the doors there's been some body filler the roof there's been some body filler some primer um so all that gets done so what i can do is i only have a liter of uh, gray primer and um enough i would imagine of the hardener maybe a little bit too much but we're going to use it anyway and we're going to stick to the same brand and see how it goes and a liter with a four to one to one ratio is going to give me basically 1.5 liters so we're pretty much going to see how far we get but yeah if i can get the flat surfaces done i can get the engine bay done then i can get the final coat on the engine bay at the bare minimum the back of the cab and the back of that so I can get that on and then we can take this to get the motor back installed or installed back in and and then at least we we are past that hurdle and the rest of this we can sort of take our sweet time and spend another year doing that but we'll get to that let's first do the essentials and that's the engine bay back of the cab back of that and then the rest of the cab not the nitty gritties we can always come in with a smaller gun later so that's where we we're at this point and we're ready to rock and roll. Let's fire it all up and see how it goes. As you can see here, most of the priming is done. I'm just cleaning it up and starting to get our final coat on, which is a lot more gray than what you're seeing here. But yeah, and so the work continues. And our paint is mostly on. Um, well, <laughs> there's still that 
Uh, but yeah, it's getting together, starting to come to bits. It's quite amazing. I can remember where everything goes. Made a few changes or so. And it's a little bit of sanding, a little bit of cleaning. But yeah, for the most, we are almost ready to put the motor in.